I'm at Brazilian Lumber down here in Gardena. And I've got, I think, 23, 24 boards on the van. This is five quarter uh, Ipe. So when I say five quarter, it's an inch thick. Most of what you're buying is three quarters of an inch thick. They gave me a better price on this than I can find on what you would call one buy. So it's only, it was only like 780 a foot, something like that. Whereas I was getting quotes of over $8 per foot, like uh, about a dollar more basically for material that is actually thinner than this. So I'm very happy with that, but we'll see how the van does because this has got to be, each one of those 20 footers has to weigh about 100 pounds. It took two of us, you know, moving them around. So I'm, I'm just guessing, but I think I've got over a ton or damn near close to a ton of weight on the roof of the van. The light is barely touching the front there. It is touching the, the front of the roof. There's usually a gap there, but that's just because my last um, uh, brace, whatever, the bracket is right over the door there. And that the rest of that cantilever is beyond, and usually that's not a problem, but with all this weight, you know, clearly the van or the rack is feeling it. Um, so we'll see how it goes. I got about 18 miles to drive. I'm just gonna go slow straight up western to my client's house. Wish me luck. Have a great day and uh We'll see how this goes. Uh, back. Oh, here. Good joint, though. Ask for Vanessa. She's a sweetheart. So, somebody across the street in front of me, I had to hit my brakes and my load shifted way forward. I've already got it back by rocking the van. try to strap it somehow so it won't slide forward or aft. That happened to me in Texas too when I had a super heavy load, but that rack is, oh boy. <laughs> All right, so got two ratchet straps, tying that to the frame so they won't slide forward, hopefully. I got a block of wood here so they can't get any tighter here with the cross strap. Got a block of wood here so they can't get any tighter air at the cross strap and then the yellow strap is pulling these tight that way <clears throat> so i got a triangle here and hopefully this will work that was extremely stressful and physical i'm just checking things out up here and i got no dents in the roof where the brackets are, uh, which is good. I mean, you always want to check that sort of thing. Everything's looking real good down the line. So it doesn't look like any damage. And I just want to remind you, I've got S10 springs. I've got heavy duty coil over Gabriel shocks. Got a whole new rear end, new bearings. Um, it's an L4, so it's got four wheel disc brakes. And yeah. I mean, I did about 12 miles on Western in Los Angeles coming up from Gardena. <laughs> you know, you know those neighborhoods I got to go through and people just walk into the street and just a lot of silliness. It's the city. So I had hit the brakes a couple times, but I made sure I was giving myself enough cushion for the most part on the road. But uh, that was a sketch. When I was in Texas, when I was in West Texas, it didn't matter that much. There was nobody else on the road. So when that load slid on me, I was able to just kind of pull over and deal with it. But this was a whole different story. And I don't know if it's on the video because I haven't reviewed it yet, but I had to drive up to a building and get up on this pole and brace my leg against the building to push one of those loads. So, and each one of these boards is, like I said, I think it's, yeah, they're 80 to 100 pounds. It just depends. And there's uh, 23 of them do the math. I, I probably had a ton of material up there, literally. 
So I was probably pushing about a thousand pounds and then I had to unload it all. So I was able to select all this for straight, which was real nice. So like I said, it's an inch thick. Uh, I could probably show you that here. Yeah, so that's three quarters up against the one inch. So let's see what that looks like. That's a little high there. <laughs> that would have thrown you off. <laughs> so you can see that's a quarter inch right there. Um, and again, you know, I did one foot on center for the, the basic field of the decking. Uh, I got a little wider here with the joists and a little wider on the other end. They're not going to support that much weight. And my plan is to, I've got the clips and I didn't get this grooved. So I've got a biscuit joiner and it's just this one little deck. It's going to be tedious. There's a lot of these stringers here for joists. And, uh, you know, I'm going to have to put the biscuit joiner in for each one, but yeah, that's still going to be kind of faster and easier because I don't have to wait to have these things grooved and I don't have to pay for that. And again, if it was 800 square feet, it'd be a different story. So that's the next step. And obviously the first row in the back, I've got a drill and plug. I'm going to use the fuller uh, drill bit system. And I showed that to them there. And I'm thinking this out now. And I got to calm down a little bit. You know, but I'm considering a border here. Like I'll, I can run a, a piece and miter. It's not a 45, but an angle. Run a piece. Do an angle. Run a piece. I'm sorry, I don't know if it's on thing. You know, and then cut the outer edge on that angle. Of course, I want to get a piece for here. I think I've got enough excess, and if I don't, I'll go to Anna Walt and get a 20 foot or plus some other, and I'll put cuts down the back side of the board and put it up here, and that'll flex for me. It'll bend, and I'll be able to attach it right across here. So the front of this, it'll be like a fascia right here, and then I still need to build a step. So I'm, I'm pretty sure I got enough, but if I didn't, it's okay because I can get it, that piece and enough for the step anywhere. Not a big deal, and it doesn't have to be super thick like this stuff. I can go with three quarter inch for that. But uh, yeah, so once again, this is me telling you not to do what I just did with your Astro van and your rack system. Don't do it, don't do it. I mean, unless you've done what I've done. Um, I've not seen a rack system out there yet. I mean, other than like some heavy duty contractor rack system, but even that, you know, these things aren't really built for that. But because I've done the lift and I did the suspension and it's got new brakes and new all bearings, everything's good. And it was only overall, I think it was an 18 mile drive. So anyhow, I'll catch you guys next time.